And for some reason, it added this, which I'm not sure whether it's Korean or Chinese. So let's see what this is. When OpenAI announced GPT-4, they said that it is going to be a multimodal model. One of the most anticipated feature of GPT-4 was its ability to understand images. Uh, although we are still waiting for OpenAI to release this uh, feature, but there has been a few open source implementation. In a previous video, I showed you this open source project called Mini GPT-4 that has the ability to understand images. And they have some really amazing demos on their website. But one of the main issues with Mini GPT-4 right now is uh, it's really slow when you're trying to use the demos. Now, the great thing is that Mini GPT-4 is not the only open source project. There are a number of them. Uh, today, I'm going to show you this one called Lava, Large Language and Vision Assistant. According to the description of the project, so Lava represents a novel end-to-end -end trained large multimodal model that combines the vision encoder and Wakunia for general purpose visual and language understanding. If you recall, Mini GPT-4 is also using Wakunia with a visual encoder. So Mini GPT-4 was using a Blip2 as a visual encoder, but this project is using the Clip visual encoder. Before looking at some really interesting demos and showing you how you can actually use it on, on images, let's look at some technical details. So in this work, they are actually connecting a visual encoder directly with a large language model. So the idea is very simple. You don't really have to retrain a visual encoder so that you can make it work with uh, a large language model. To train their model, they are using the Coco dataset, which is an object detection dataset. So in this case, they have a total of 158 unique language image instructions uh, in total that was generated with the help of GPT-4 using the GPT-4 API. As I mentioned before, so in this case, they used a clip visual encoder and a large language model, which is Wakunia, and they simply combined both of them using a simple projection matrix. Here is a visual representation. You have the input image, and then uh, they're using visual encoder to get the projection matrix. And along with the language instructions, they're, they're fed into the language model, uh, which is Wakunia in this case, and you get a response. Now, the great thing about this is that this uh, model is actually available uh, and it's open source. So the model is available on Hugging Face. If you check it out, there is a model card with all the corresponding details. Now, one thing is that you need to be technically savvy because you need to apply these delta weights uh, to the Nama model. And But that's if you want to run it locally. But in this case, I'm going to show you a web demo where you can upload your own images and interact with those. So uh, if you want to run this locally, all the model files that, that you need are actually available here. So for the rest of the video, we are going to try to reproduce some of the demos that this Lava model has on their website, as well as some of the GPT-4 uh, demos. And then we will also look at mini GPT-4 demos as well, and we'll try to reproduce them here. So now in order to run uh, these demos, go to the demo, uh, which is a standalone website. Uh, they have a couple of uh, demos, so I'm going to just first play with those, and then we will upload our own images. So if you recall, this is one of the image uh, that is shown in the demo of GPT-4. Now for the original GPT-4, uh, here is an example of the demo. So what is unusual about this image? And the response is, uh, the unusual thing about this image is that the man is ironing uh, clothes on an ironing board attached to the roof of a moving taxi, which was actually pretty good. Although we're still waiting for OpenAI to release uh, this uh, capability of GPT-4. Now let's do the same and see what the response is. So here's the same image and uh, the question that we are asking it is what is unusual about this image. Now the great thing about this uh, model is the response is really fast. It's almost near real time. So uh, if you have played with mini GPT-4, you actually have to wait a lot for that to respond. But in this case, it is pretty quick, okay? So let's see what the response is. The unusual aspect of this image is that the man is standing on a car and doing his laundry. Uh, this is not a typical scene as laundry is usually done in separate areas, such as laundromat or uh, designated laundry rooms. Okay, then it goes on to say, in this image, 
the man is pressing his clothes on an iron board while standing on the top of a yellow SUV which is parked on the side of the road. So that's pretty awesome because it recognizing the action. This not only poses safety risk to the man but also raises questions about the circumstances that led him to choose such an unconventional approach to doing his laundry. Uh, interesting. That's uh, an extra insight. Now it's a Uvacunia model, so you can actually uh, continue the conversation with the model, right? So in this case, I'm simply asking it, what are some other, some alternate uh, options for him? Let's submit and let's see what it comes up with. So there are several alternate uh, options for this man to consider when it comes to doing his laundry, right? So laundromat, the designated laundry rooms and professional laundry services. So these are, I guess, the things that it already kind of mentioned um, here in the start of the uh, response. But I would say this is pretty pretty neat. It's a really awesome that it's able to understand the image um, and really uh, give us a pretty uh, thorough response. Okay, they have another demo where uh, they have this boardwalk in the I guess like it's uh, going in the middle of the uh, lake right and the, the scenery behind it so the question is what are the things I should be cautious about when I visit here let's see uh, based on the understanding that the model has what it comes up with so when visiting this location one should be cautious of the slippery wooden pier and the water surrounding it okay that's awesome uh, the image shows a long wooden dock or pier extending into a large body of water, which uh, could be a lake, or a river, or other body, uh, water body. Being cautious while walking on the pier is important to avoid accidents and falling into the water. So this is pretty amazing. Uh, you won't expect uh, the model to have this level of uh, comprehension of the images because it, it kind of uh, uh, is able to deduce what type of risk you could have. This is pretty uh, simply mind-blowing. Now, let me show you how you can actually interact with this model yourself. So you simply go and click here and upload an image, and then you can ask a question. Okay, so I uploaded Mona Lisa, and then I'm asking it, uh, do you know who drew this painting? And let's see what the response uh, of the model is. So based on the image description, the painting depicts a woman who appears to be Da Vinci portrait. Okay, that's pretty good. As a large language and as a visual assistant, one of the capabilities is analyzing and identifying various artworks, including painting by Leonardo da Vinci. This woman in the painting is known for her elegance and beauty and her uh, enigmatic smile, which is characteristic feature of da Vinci portraits. Okay, so it's basically able to identify this, but let's see if I upload this one. Uh, it's the style of da Vinci, but not the picture or image of Mona Lisa. And let's see what uh, it, it can do with this image. Okay. Uh, so it says the painting features a dog dressed up as a woman sitting in a pose reminiscent of Mona Lisa. The dog is wearing a dress and a hat with a pearl necklace around its neck. I don't see a necklace here. That probably is hallucinating. The, sea, the scene is set in a room with a backdrop of mountain landscape. Yes, it is, there are mountain landscape the woman or rather the dog in disguise is seated on a chair in uh, the foreground of the painting a cup can also be seen in the painting i don't know if there is a cup maybe it's somewhere probably here that placed on a surface in the background the painting is a creative and entertaining portrayal of a uh, canine dressed as a human captured as a famous mona lisa portrait okay so basically it's able to identify that uh it's, it's a copy of the uh, Mona Lisa portrait. Uh, now let's see if it actually is able to understand memes. Uh, so in this case, we are did, uh, uploading this meme Monday, just Monday, right? And let's see what the response is. Oh, wow. Uh, okay, so the image features a small brown dog laying on a wooden uh, flooring, possibly in a, on a porch or a patio, with the words, just Monday. So it's actually able to recognize text uh, so there is a optical character recognition somehow. The phrase is uh, a play on the word, combining "just" as a reference to the song "Just Another Day." Uh, I don't know if that's actually the case. It appears that the dog is humorously imitating the idea of uh, feeling tired or having a bad weekend, 
like a person would, with the intention to create a lighthearted and amusing scene. Uh, I think it, it got a sense of fit, um, but I think it's not too far off. Uh, next, we uploaded this image. Uh, the leaves have fungi, some sort of fungi. Right, and I asked her, what is the issue with my plant? What should I do? And based on that, it came up with uh, this description. So based on the image, there seems to be a problem with the plant as it appears to be sick or affected by some uh, disease or pest. The green leaves have white, yellow, and brown spots, which indicates the plant's health is compromised. As an individual who cares for the plant, you should consider taking the following uh, steps. And it, it gives me uh, a few pretty general steps then I asked it can you be more specific about the treatment plant right and then uh, it gave me I think more concrete steps and for some reason it added this which I'm not sure whether it's Korean or Chinese uh, so let's see what this is so I'm gonna go here uh, we'll copy the language all right so tag template automation management points tag template automation management points tag template automation Interesting. Uh, not sure what happened here, <laughs> but this is uh, very interesting. If you recall, uh, one of the demos shown by OpenAI was that they drew a mock a mock up of uh, a website on a piece of paper and asked the model to uh, write the HTML code for its site. So I'm trying to do the same. Uh, this is a pretty bad uh, resolution image, but let's see if it can uh, come up with something. So I'm going to click submit. So uh, the, the the question was, or the, the prompt was, write a brief HTML to turn this mockup into a uh, colorful website. Now it says here is a brief uh, HTML code to transform the given mockup into colorful website with real jokes. And I think it's trying to write the HTML code, but it's not really displaying. And let me see if I can copy this somewhere. Okay, so according to this, it wrote something, uh, but then it said to make this website, replace the placeholder joke with the real jokes and add more jokes as needed. Okay, let me, I don't really see anything, but let's see what it generated. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem to have generated anything, or at least it's not visible. I tried to run it here. Uh, it simply displays this. So not sure if it has the ability to generate uh, HTML code. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Okay, this model can actually write stories based on the images. So for example, I uploaded this image and I asked it, can you write a children's story about this image? And the response is that once upon a time, in a land of make-believe, there was a group of animals sitting around the table, sharing a meal together, right? And then it's able to identify the animals in the image. So it says a brown bear, a gray cat, and a small hare, right? Uh, and then it says, okay, the bear was seated on one side of the table, the cat on another, and the hair next to the cat. So it's actually recognized uh, uh, the relative positions as well. So that is pretty neat. And then uh, as a language model, it came up with a description of a small story. So th this is pretty amazing. Uh, by the way, all the images that I have used so far, uh, they are uh, from the mini GPT-4 uh, paper. So I wanted to give like a comparison between the two. I think since the backend model uh, or the large language model that you're using is Wakunya in both papers, so the responses are pretty uh, similar. Okay, so just as a follow-up, I actually asked it, uh, can you create generate a prompt for this image that uh, I can use it to recreate uh, in an AI image generator. So here's the prompt that it created and I fed in this prompt into a mid journey. I think mid journey actually ignored most of the description of the prompt, but it could be a really a good start that uh, you can play around with the images if you want. Uh, because like if you look at it, so it put a, a bear, a cat, in a hair, uh, but mid journey didn't really, uh, I guess, like create what we asked for. But still, it's, it's a pretty neat tool that you can even generate a you uh, prompts for. Uh, this image journey okay uh very interesting thing so i uploaded this image of elon musk right and said uh who is the person in this image so in the image there's a person who has a and the head photoshopped onto a cartoon animal's body right so that's kind of the true description but i don't, I don't think it's able to 
that recognize it and musk but i think the most interesting part was that uh, at the end it starts giving out some gibberish so for example this is the output and just like uh, mini gpt4 this all model is also able to generate description for your products um, that you can use in your advertisements now it's amazing to see how far we have come in terms of open source being ahead of uh, closed source uh, softwares and this is just the beginning we are able to replicate the behavior or the capabilities that gpt4 is supposed to have in open source models uh, these are freely available and you can play with them um, and use them in your own products potentially if uh, they are nice licensed for commercial use i uh, hope you found this video useful uh, there are some other amazing models as well uh, now there is even a model which can uh, understand videos. So I'm going to be making a video uh, based on that pretty soon. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, please put them in uh, the comment section below. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel if you like the content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.